Here's a short video on how I weave in my ends on the Cozy Moment Shawl. So we have two ends on the shawl, and the first one is at the beginning here, um, at the garter tab, and we're going to weave it in on the other side, so on the back side, and I want to weave this in through the pearl bumps and I'm not going I'm not going through the the whole fabric I'm splitting the stitches here so that it does not show on the front I'm just going I'm going diagonally there I'm not pulling on it too tightly and then you want to come back so that the yarn makes a bend here. And then I want to do one more. So I might go in here. You don't have to do it exactly this way. Here at the beginning, we don't have uh, a lace panel yet, so you don't have to be afraid of um, closing any holes. So basically you can just weave it in where you want as long as it doesn't um, show up on the front. Okay, and that is enough, so I'm going to snip that off. And then the other end is here at the crochet edging. Right here. And I am going to weave that through the side and then weave it in on the back of the garter stitch here. So I am going in this side uh, in the chain stitches just like that. Don't think about it too much. Don't pull it too tight. Then Make sure you're working on the back of your work and also just weave it in the um, pearl stitches and the pearl bumps that you see. And just going to do that two more times because these um, these bits are very short okay maybe I'll just continue make it a little bit longer there okay we have now gone in several bends so that it is um, almost impossible for the yarn to unravel on its own. And then we cut it and then our shell is ready for blocking. And you can also do this after blocking. Um, I actually tend to prefer doing it after blocking, but I had some time now. So um, and the reason uh, for doing it after blocking is that uh, during blocking these ends might, you know, the fabric stretches so the ends might get pulled out. So then you'll have a little yarn end here. Um, if you sew them in after blocking, they will uh, be more likely to stay put. But um, yeah, so that is how I sew in ends. I hope this was useful for you.